Welcome to City News Dhaka English Bulletin. 60 people have died from COVID-19 in 24 hours till 8 a.m. today, according to a press release issued by the Director General of Health Services. The total number of deaths reached 11,510. At least 1,452 new infections were recorded in the meantime, taking the total number of people infected to 760,584, added the release. A total of 15,117 samples were tested across the country in 24 hours. The government is considering the resumption of public transport services across the country ahead of Eid al-Fitr, wrote Transport and Bridges Minister Obaidul Qadir said today. Addressing the media at his official residence in Dhaka, the minister also urged transport owners and workers not to resort to protest over the issue. Be patient, was his message to the aggrieved owners and workers. Public transport services were suspended in Bangladesh on April 5th, with the government announcing a countrywide lockdown to curb the spread of coronavirus. The Civil Aviation Authority of Bangladesh has approved the resumption of international passenger flights in and out of Bangladesh from Saturday, with certain strict rules in place. Though flight services could resume, there were still heavy restrictions on travel from certain countries, the CAAB said in a statement dated April 30th. The decision was made so that immigrant passengers who had been grounded in Bangladesh due to the lockdown could reach their destinations. More than 1,200 journalists have died from COVID-19 across the world since March last year, according to the Press Emblem Campaign, PEC. Journalists are engaged in a profession which is particularly exposed to the virus as many have been forced to continue working in contact with the population, it said in a statement on Friday ahead of the World Press Freedom Day on May 3rd. The PEC said it has counted more than 1,200 journalists in 75 countries who died from COVID-19. COVID-19 complications between March 2020 and April 29 this year. Eight COVID-19 patients, including a senior doctor of a hospital in Delhi, died due to oxygen shortage, a hospital official said today. We are trying to revive five other critical patients, said Dr. ACL Gupta of Batra Hospital. The doctor who died has been identified as R.K. Hintani, the head of the gastroenterology department, he added. Hospital officials told the Daily High Court, which is hearing on a medical crisis triggered by a devastating second wave of COVID-19 infections, that around 230 people had been without oxygen for more than an hour, reports our New Delhi correspondent. India posted a record daily rise of 4,1993 new coronavirus cases on Saturday as the country opened up its massive vaccination drive to all adults, although several states warned of acute shortages. It was the first time India's daily case count had topped 4 lakh after 10 consecutive days over 3 lakh. Bangladesh were all out for 251 in their first innings against Sri Lanka on third day of their second test match at the Palikali International Cricket Stadium on Saturday. Bangladesh lost seven wickets for just 37 runs in their first innings as Sri Lanka spinner Pravin Jayavikrama took six wickets on debut. Bangladesh were 242 runs behind of Sri Lanka's first innings total of 493 and still 42 runs short from saving the follow-on when they were all out but Sri Lanka did not force follow and came to bat for their second innings instead. Later, Sri Lanka finished the day as 17 for 2 as Bangladesh bowlers took two wickets in short period of time before closing of day's play. That's all for today. Thank you so much. This is Ismatara you are listening to. Thank you for being with us.